Jessica Monroe, 150 Fernwood Drive Greer, Director of Let Em Live Upstate. After I was here last month, I emailed with two examples of council-supported no-kill implementation plans for other areas. One from Brower County, Florida, which has notable list of strategies that we are not utilizing here. The other from Austin, Texas, has a successful model where an animal advisory commission composed of citizens, professionals, and shelter staff was appointed by Austin Council to draft a plan. It took <coughs> two months from the date that committee was formed to the date council voted to approve that plan. And 11 months later, that favorable vote, their open admissions tax dollar funded shelter reached their goal of a 90% live release rate. Furthermore, the policy changes in these plans have little to no effect on the budget. Most of the figures listed in the Austin model are not applicable to Greenville. This important plan is important because the state of South Carolina has no shelter oversight and taxpayers are getting tired of their money being wasted to kill animals when there is a rescue, an owner, or a citizen willing to take that animal off of county hands. Greenville should not add to its death statistics when there is another option available, a better option. Now Animal Care had a fabulous day this past Saturday when offering free adoptions led to 160 animals finding new homes and our Target Zero partnership leads us on the right track with its assessment suggestions. But we can't offer free adoptions every day and our Target Zero partnership lasts one to three years at best. It is urgent to create a plan for our facility and the county to support that land al a plan along with updated ordinances that set boundaries for illegitimate breeders and neglectful pet owners because the mess they leave behind falls on the taxpayers. It has come to my attention that some think I'm an opponent of animal care. That me coming in here asking for change means I'm uneducated about what goes on in the shelter. When in fact, I have continual conversations with current and past employees, volunteers, and work crew at the shelter and know well and very well aware of everything that goes on. But I do not come in here to vilify that organization or to spout derogatory comments. I am here to help and offer successful solutions to an inherent problem that Greenville County has been turning a blind eye to for far too long. When shelter leadership asks for my assistance on a project, I devote myself to that to the best of my ability. And when opportunities arise for adoption events for Let Em Live Upstate to participate in, I include animal care because I believe in the current facility and current staff that we can achieve the accomplish the no-kill community goal. And I believe that this council is the one to usher this in. Thank you.